this is fine. You see that this connect here? The prophet does everything for reason. Ah, there we go. This is about the Messiah because the Messiah coded it because he said to be sitting at the right hand of the, of the Father. And in this verse is saying, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand. Bible. Yeah. Oh, this is the kind of yeah. Okay. So what does it say in here? Right hand. So who would be sitting at the right hand of the reader? So there are two lords here, right? The Lord said unto my Lord. So which Lord is saying to which Lord? Sit thou at my right hand, and I will make my thine enemy thy footstool. Okay, no, because you can know because it's saying David prophesied the coming Messiah. This is about the Messiah because the Messiah coded it because he said to be sitting at the right hand of the, of the Father. And in this verse it's saying the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand. Can I read? Yeah, go ahead. Can you help me find a verse in Matthew where Jesus is uh, answering the Pharisees that uh, he's the son of Abraham and he says, you know, if I'm the son of Abraham, then why did Abraham said that? Can you go find me that verse? It's in Matthew, I think, 2042, I thought. No, no, no. Coming Messiah. No, I mean, but it's Judgment Day when he says yeah, yeah. What does it say? When he says... He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the place with the dead bodies. He shall uh, wound the heads of many uh, over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore, he shall he lift up the head. Okay, the Lord said, The rod of the strength of, of, of Zion, rule thou midst of thine enemies. The people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauty of the holiness from the womb. Holiness from the womb. Okay? Of the morning thou hast due on thou youth. So, who is this talking about? This, this passage? According to your understanding. You don't know what you're talking about. You need to repent of your Okay, I would say, right. according to the Bible, I would say Jesus. Yeah. Okay, so this passage was written hundreds of years before. No, I didn't. Did you find it? It's in Matthew. It's in Matthew? Yeah, yeah, where he's talking to the Pharisees. And they, uh, he asked them about uh, whose son he is. He says he's the son of David. Yeah? And then Jesus just said that if he's the son of David, then why did David call him Lord? That's what Jesus said. And, I, and I'm sorry. like the head of household. And I and I didn't I explain Did I, that to you yeah, earlier. Yeah. Remember when I was talking? Remember, hold on, hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Remember, I said don't jump from topic to topic. But let me go back to what I said. Yeah. I showed you at the trial, they called him the son of God. And I said, people say, oh, son of are God. That anointed? yeah. Christ. Are you Christ, the son of God? The son of God. They say, oh, it doesn't mean that he's the son of God. It just means he's the son of God like other one. It's the same thing. Then they, it's all the context. They knew, and the uh, yeah, internet is not a, internet. Is, I'll find you the words later. I will come back to you. What he's saying is that. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, I just forgot what I was talking about. What were you talking about? Um, when he said the anointed, when he said the Christ, when they questioned him. Okay, yeah, when he questioned him, he didn't answer, "I am." He said, "I am," and you will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of hell, of of, of heaven. And sitting at the right hand of the Father, he said that. Didn't he say that? <laughs> and I showed you who sits at the right hand of the Father. Okay? It's not ambiguous. It's not because you don't understand it. I have to go and check out the gear. No, it's not. Please. If it was that complicated, I wouldn't be. I'm not that smart. Okay? And you don't have to be. Some things are just understood if you if you have an open mind and you say, okay. Where does Jesus say he's God? He said it in front of them. They killed him because he said he's the son of God. 
not because he said he's a son of God like you guys are sons of God, because it wouldn't be a crime. It is a crime, a blasphemy. They said, oh, he has committed blasphemy. What blasphemy? What blasphemy? A blasphemy of equating himself with God. Either he was blasphemed, or he was, Jesus was a liar, and he died for a lie, saying that I'm the son of God, or he was telling the truth. Which one is it? It's your decision. Yeah. I know. Do you know the chapter? I can, I can pull up Matthew. I, I'm not sure it's in chapter... Oh, you got it? No, no, it's Matthew. But Matthew, it's I, I don't know exactly. If you Google it, where yeah, Jesus yeah, is answering the... Oh, okay, yeah, I know Google is not working. It's in Matthew 20 or 24 or something like that. Verse 40. It says, uh, you know, they asked him about uh, who is he and uh, he said, I'm the... Anyways, I'll get you the verse, but... It's not important. We already have several references where he's saying, I'm sitting at the right end of God. No, you know why he said that to him? He said that to him. To, look, here he says that. To make it crystal clear to him, he wasn't going to try to save his life. He's like, you know who I am? Not only that I am the Son of God, I'm going to be sitting at this right hand and you're going to see me at the clouds of heaven. You know why he said that? Because he knew he knew the Old Testament. And the only person who comes on the clouds of heaven is mentioned in Daniel 7 and that's the son of God and he knew exactly what he was saying because that's not a real man that's a deity yeah it's not spirited it's uh, it's common sense either he is sitting at the right hand of the father and he's dying for saying something like that I'm gonna, I'm gonna you'll see me sitting at the right hand of the father why would he say that when his life is at stake and the guy is asking him to get him to, uh, to confess something so he can kill him. And he says, not only that, I will be sitting at the right now. So you better get it right. I am God. Either he was lying or he was telling him the truth. And that's your decision to say, that's not true. He didn't say that. That's exactly what Satan said in Garden of Eden. To, uh, did God really say that? Oh no, he meant this, he didn't mean that. This whole drama about it meant this, it meant that, started in the Garden of Eden. Satan came to the woman and said, Oh, did God really say that? No, 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 he meant this. If you, if you do this, you will see, you'll become like God. You'll see good and evil. Yeah, it's all misinterpretation, right? He misinterpreted the Bible, the Word of God, and now we have the same thing. People are misinterpreting the Word of God what the Satan did. So nothing changes under the sun. It's all the same stuff. So you better decide what you're going to do. Of um, the verse where the devil takes out Jesus. She wants to take Shahada. And she has taken Shahada. From you? No, no, she's a Muslim. The devil took out Jesus. Huh? When the devil took out Jesus and then he said... You know I'm half deaf, deaf, right? Are you? Yeah. He said your foot will never strike a stone. Yeah. Then what did Jesus reply to that? What wrote? He was tempting him, right? No, yeah, and it's one there, and there's another verse where he says it somewhere. Can you give me that word? Can you tell me? I have more internet, but I'll go next. Yeah, yeah, I know, and I'm the... I mean, to you, for me, is that, that's a contradiction. Why? Like, Why? Jesus wouldn't be hurt, because God says that. This is the last no, no, Sarah, Sarah. Before he said Jesus, he said it's the last Sarah. time I'm going to send one here, and then otherwise your covenant will be broken. Your covenant will be broken. I'm missing the point. Sorry. Because no, I was saying, what do you think is like? You know, God says he will, Jesus will never strike a stone. No. Well, well, okay. Do you know the context of that? That's what I wanted you to. Because I'm asking you. Do you know what was going on there? Do you Do you have the story or not? Do you or do you not have it? No, no, no. Do you know what you're talking about? Yeah. This story. What? When, when? When did this happen? What was going on? Where was Jesus? Do you know the context of this? You see, when he was, when the devil took him out, took him, took him out where? Before that. Huh? Well, like before, there was, there's that, and there's, but he also confirms it in other places, not just at that. Time. Sarah, you just jump around. Please don't do that. Yeah, where? No, I'm, we're just talking about one incident, right? We're talking about devil saying to Jesus, jump, your foot will not uh, uh, hit the ground, right? No, the devil didn't say it. Who said that? God said, didn't God say that to Jesus? No. God said it. No. 
the Satan said that to Jesus. So we're always when the devil talking about, okay, that's one place, there's another place. We kind of promised that after the last covenant, covenant uh, and you know, then we sent Jesus and he said, their hearts hard, or whoever messenger before Jesus. Um, Sarah, Sarah, the last time, Sarah, so Jesus it's not sent. Bible, you're quoting me. Yes, it must be Quran. Bible. No, it's not. I know, I'm going to get all the verses. No. I'm going to write okay. them all down. The so only place where it talks about was, your, so uh, your foot will not strike the ground yes. is when Satan was tempting Jesus and said, why don't you jump and the, uh, the Lord will save you. And Jesus, what did he say to him? Do you remember what the response was from Jesus? Or are you not listening? I am. I'm just Show me something. Yeah, and it's in another place. But he, so that was when he took him out to tempt him or something. Was yeah, yeah, but then he said, okay. and it, then the word of God says, do not uh, tempt your uh, your Lord, your God, right? So that was that was all that was about that. I have nothing, I have no idea what you're talking about. God telling him to jump and then telling him your foot will not. Yeah, because no, I didn't, yeah. I think you got it a little bit. So if you are left the faith because of these misunderstandings, I think there's a big problem here. Because like I said, you know, Satan is always trying to misquote you the Bible. And uh, that's what he did in the, no man can sit at the right hand of the father, correct? Yeah. All right. What about the punishments of the previous people? Sorry? The punishments of the previous people. It says in the Bible, the pagans, they use, crucifixion as a punishment and it was Pharaoh and or Pharaoh started that and that's also what the Quran confirms but I confirm that from the Bible so if Jesus is being punished with a, a punishment of Pharaoh I can't celebrate God for that and it may be quite and that's where I got that's why I don't believe or like so, you know someone I don't believe in the Okay, no, the thing is, Sarah, Sarah, it doesn't matter what you think, does it? Does it matter what you think? No, 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 no. If I believe 9-11 didn't ha happen, does that make 9-11 not happen? Just because I believe it, okay? Just because you believe something doesn't make it true, all right? So you could believe anything about anything, no matter how bizarre it is, it doesn't make it true. What I'm saying to you is, what you just said about Pharaoh's crucifixion and, and whatever, it's... It's a punishment it's, of him, was it? It's not a punishment. I don't think it would be. Ah, he said it was a punishment of the, uh, of the pagans in the Bible. I can't sort of celebrate God's can I Can I give you something from the Bible then? So Le, okay. Sarah, Sarah. Quran says he didn't feel pain. I'm going to research on the strike the stone, the foot strike the stone. Yeah, yeah, come back to me on that one. Sword, come back. The psalm already confirms for me that he saved him. Who? So, Who saved him? God. No. That's what, but that's what I think. Mean. No, no, it doesn't yeah. confirm for me you for it me. saved him. Yeah. No, it doesn't. If you believe something because, oh, I'm going to believe that, it says that. It doesn't say that. If you show me it says that, I want to believe that too. That, uh, that God saved him. It does say that. In Psalm 91 and Psalm 22. Okay, go ahead. Let's take a look. Where does it say he saved him? He saved him. Okay, so did he save him? Psalms 90. Why has thou forsaken me? And Jesus yeah. said, look for me in the Psalms. Okay. Yeah, I showed you in the Psalms. He's sitting at the right end of the park. Yeah? So he said that... Yeah, but how would I know it's Jesus? Here's my hands and feet, and why has thou forsaken me? Those two things would tell me, yeah, that, that means something. So at the end it says he did not... He heard his cry and he answered him. So answered him, yeah, because he was on the cross and he heard him because he's crying to his father, right? So are you, are you trying to... <laughs> you know, that's that, what I believe. Okay, that's well, what that's right. So, so what's your, what, what convinces you here? that God saved him from the cross. Show me. Yes. 
also 91. Okay. This is throwing 92, this is 91. Okay, is this about Jesus? Yeah, that's what I was speaking. Well, it's not about Jesus. That's what the main... Psalm 99, 91 is not talking about Jesus. Well, it, the, he, David is talking about himself. Yeah, Because he's he, surrounded by his enemies and he says, God will rescue me. That's all this is take, saying. Yeah, this one. Sorry, Psalm 22 is the one that's... Okay, let's go to Psalm 22. Yeah, there, there we have it right here. Here's Psalm 22. Now, tell me, Psalm 22 is saying that uh, God is uh, going to... Rescue Jesus from the cross. No, it says, My God, my God, was ever saved me. Yeah. Um, so that tells me that. And also, his, his hands and feet were pierced. So, I, you know, for me, that tells me that. Yeah, and he saved him. Show me he saved him. So, you believe that he was pierced? No, they said, He's pierced my hands and feet. Okay. But he has not given me over to death. Over to death? Okay. So you know that there is two deaths, right? Yeah. Which are two deaths? Like when you die, the second death is if you go to hell. Spiritual death? Yeah. Okay. Alright, and the physical death. So show me where it says he physically didn't die. Or where does it say he didn't die? Show me. Yeah, he heard. Why is that for safety? Mm -hmm. That's what it's called. This one is called. Um, when he cried, he heard. My praise shall be of thee in the great congregation. I will pay my vows before them that fear him. The meek shall eat uh, and be satisfied. They shall praise the Lord and seek him. Thou heart. Okay, I'm still looking for the verse that says God saved him from the cross. But, 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 which I haven't got the verse in the UK, right? Okay, so you're going to have to come up with something that yeah, shows in I the Psalms that... I don't want to push my view on No, I just want to know. Look, we are here to talk about... You said something that... I, over to death because I read it in the Bible. The, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And hold I believe on. he heard him say, why is that forsaken? Mm. He didn't. It was a test. Why, why did Jesus come into the world? Okay. Why did he come into the world? Why did he come into the world? Yeah. What was his as purpose? Like all the messengers. Sorry? As all the messengers. He was going to the places of oppression and he was, he was teaching the Then Muhammad. if he was just like all the messengers, then why did he tell everybody that destroy this temple, I'll raise it in three days? What did that mean? I, I personally don't No, no, no. I, I mean, wasn't there, so I can't say that's what I'm like. Okay, did he have his last supper with his disciples? Did he have the last supper with his disciples? Yeah. 
Why did he tell them to eat the bread that's his flesh and drink his blood? That's the wine. In his remembrance. Leave Qur'ani people alone. He's on my side. <laughs> no, we're everyone's side, all human. All I'm asking her, she's telling me that I'm Jesus back. didn't, uh, Allah, Allah rescued Jesus from the cross. That's what she says. He was not on the cross. You mean? No, no, no. I, yeah, I don't want to ask this, that. This I believe what I believe. Everyone else believes what they believe. No, no, everyone the Lord That's said to my Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take my right question hand about it now. Kill I put well, the fair, okay, yeah, this is the passage. Which, 22, okay, fine. The question about now that the Pharisees gathered in the. Okay, yeah, this is the verse. Thank you. So we don't believe that he died? Yeah. You can, you, can, you, can, you can pull it from here. But did he die on the cross? You can pull it from here. From the Bible. He died and he rise up again. He died and he rise up. Listen to him. He's your Quran only. Explain to you if you want. I can explain to you why. He just said it, and I'm going to show you the verse that I was at, 2244. Okay. No, he died on the cross. According to him, he died on the cross. And he rose up. Yeah. According to him, he died on the cross. Listen. They put him on the cross. They look at him. They wait for him until he dies. Jesus. Yeah. 22. Yeah. They put him in the tomb, and he rise up again. Well, let's wait for a coffee or something. Okay, yeah, she, if she comes with us, she'll be. Now, when he came out of the tomb, the Quran said they did not succeed in killing him and crucifying him. You understand? I know it's difficult for you to, to understand. Best way thing to do is send her the video I'm around to say he's Arabic, he's Muslim, he explained to you what does it mean because I got it from him. It's not from me. I'm not saying it for me. You, might, you don't mean. mind, yeah. The cross. That's what they said in the Quran. What does it say in the Quran? Yeah, okay, in the Quran it doesn't say the full story. Yeah, of Jesus. As the same as every prophet. In the Quran we always have short story of every prophet. Yeah? So now if you want to know more about Jesus, you can go to the Bible. You go to the Quran, you go to the Bible, and you can go to the Yeah. But the Quran said clearly they did not succeed in killing him and crucifying him. It's only a few of them that by when Jesus was a Christian, half Christian, half Christian. And he never came no, back. Right. He, he, no, he was a Christian. He came back and said, Here, he was. I'm here already, here. You understand me? And then here God said, I'm now taking you to me. I'm putting you like in the sleep. I'm taking you to me. And I'm making these people now. I'm gonna purify you and clean you from what these people do do done to you on the cross, which is a very strong evidence that he was on the cross and he was uh, wounded. Oh. But he wasn't he, dead because Did he, he used the Quran. Said, and I'm cleaning you from. The if wind. Imran, you heard what Imran he said, said. He said yes, I rise up again. He did die At on the cross. At the beginning, cross. I thought he was not dead. I had a debate before one year ago. I told him no, he did not die on the cross completely. But when Imran Hussein, the big scholar Muslim, confirmed that he died and he rise up again, again it's, it's meant that they did not succeed in killing him. So the Quran said, I'm gonna purify you and clean you from what they done to you. And I'm making from now this minute those people who follow you superior mother. Therefore, there is a miracle now happening here, which is Jesus' resurrection. This is a miracle. This is the most important miracle of Jesus that he resurrects from this. And also this one proves that we as people are gonna go back to the judgment day. So we all gonna die, we're gonna own the Bible. You never see any story that this symbol of the cross of the Bible is wrong, we should uh, not believe in it, never condemn it to say anything. So we all know that any Bible, if you carry it, you will see a cross. Any Bible. Have you ever seen a Bible without a cross? No. Yeah, but the, the, she believes that uh, Jesus was rescued from the cross by Allah. That's what she believes. Allah wouldn't want to kill his son. That's what he. Oh, she doesn't believe he's his son. You, you believe Jesus is son of God? <coughs> no. no. No, we believe Jesus is the Word of God. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we were talking about this, and I was trying to find the verse, right? Where it says, "Sit at my right hand," right? And I said, Jesus said, quoted this psalm. So if you say, Jesus said, I'm, find me in the Psalms, I said, why don't you find him in Psalms 110? Because Jesus quoted one. Here is where he quoted Psalms 110. This is the verse I was looking for. This is, now here we have a differences between the Quran and the Yeah. So here's Matthew 22. And we're going to read from 41. Yeah. Jesus silences the Pharisees about the Messiah. 
And what does it say? Do you want to read this for me? My eyes are not so good. Read it loud so I can hear it. Well, the Pharisees were gathered together. Jesus asked them, saying, What do you think of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He say to them, How then does David in the spirit call him Lord? These two people, they believe that Jesus was on the cross. If you want to come and join us, it's going to be a big debate. You know that long hair and the other guy, Kadiani, he believes this is Okay, I'll come and look for you. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Please repeat the verse. He said, the Lord said my Can you read it louder so I can hear you, please? Sorry, say that again, please. Which verse is this? Uh, the Lord said, unto my Lord, sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Who's saying this to who? No, he, Jesus is speaking to Pharisees. You know who Pharisees were, right? And what is he saying? What does Jesus say? What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? He's talking about himself to the Pharisees, right? He's asking them, who do, who do you think the Christ is the son of? And they say he's the son of? What? David, yeah? He said unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, the Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, till I make thine enemy thy footstool. If David then calls him Lord, how is he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word. Neither does any man from there that day forth ask him any more questions. So what is, what is, the, what is, what is the point of this? Okay, the point of this is, Jesus is asking them, who is he son of? They say he's the son of David. What does Jesus say? If, what does it say? Uh, think of it. The Lord said unto, uh, said unto David, he said unto them, how then doth David in spirit call him Lord? Call him Lord. Call who Lord? Messiah. David called Messiah Lord. Sorry? Yeah, right, right. No, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Let's let's go to exactly. Yeah, you're right. So there are two lords. One is the Lord, that's the master of the house. Yeah, and one is Lord God, right? Yeah. So let's not get confused, right? Let's not do that. No, 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 no. It's Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Why don't we go back to what Jesus was quoting? He was quoting. Was he saying that he's the Lord? Why did... Would David call somebody Lord? He was the king of Israel, right? So who would be the Lord of Israel? Okay. Uh, Lord said unto my Lord. Okay. How then does David in spirit call him Lord? If David is the king of Israel, is there anybody above him that he would call the Lord? So they heard who was above the king? So they, it's like in spirit. They meant Lord. Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course, because Messiah wasn't come yet, right? So now we, he's quoting this, right? The Lord, this is David saying, the Lord said unto my Lord. Is he talking about the Lord of the household? Sit thou at my right hand. Is he the Lord of the household? Are you still going to stick with that story? Or is he the Lord of heaven and earth? And he is in spirit because he's, he, this is something that...